What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome to something a little bit different. So a few weeks ago I had work experience where I went out of school for a week to go on work experience with a company to basically get to learn the working world and this year, because I had one in year 10, uh, but basically that's just to get used to working environments. This one in year 12 though was to try, like we had to try and tailor it um, to the career path we wanted to take and being an aspiring journalist I wanted to try and um, do it around that. However, it's a lot harder to get journalism work experience than I'd previously thought. It's ridiculously hard to find some until I used my brain a little bit and decided to get something that would honestly be incredible. And lo and behold, it actually happened. I managed to get work experience with Charlton Athletic. Now, some of you may, of course, already know this if you follow me over on Instagram, but basically I did work experience with Charlton Athletic for a week um, and worked with their media department, basically their communications department, uh, writing articles and things like that. And it was honestly one of the best experiences of my life and I will never forget it. And it's absolutely amazing that I got the opportunity to do it. And over the course of this week, I decided to document my week. I decided to um, film myself every single day, document what I did and keep up to date. And I've basically compiled it into one video. So essentially, this is a week in the life of Tyler Rowlinson, except that this is a lot more special as it's my work experience week. Now, one thing I have to disclaim before we even jump into this, okay? I am absolutely atrocious at regular vlogging. I am absolutely awful at it. Match day vlogging, I can do that not regular vlogs and you're going to see in a minute because the footage that I've put together is absolutely awful and but <laughs> yeah we just have to make do of it unfortunately and another thing is that I didn't really film as much in Charlton's offices because one privacy reasons and second of all I don't know if you've ever tried and filmed stuff in an office without looking very very weird because it's quite awkward so my work experience started on Monday the 8th of July and it ended on Friday the 12th so it was only a week long and uh, day one I was really excited got dressed up nice and smart ready for the day at the valley only to figure out that something had gone wrong already on the first day but it would actually turn out to be an unbelievable day and here's why. Well, it's day one of work experience, as I've mentioned earlier. It's currently half past 10, and we've had an absolute nightmare of a start. Basically, I'm in the wrong place. The bloke I contacted uh, messaged me, uh, and I messaged him back, and basically, um, they're not at the valley. They're at Sparrows Lane for their kit launch. So I'm stuck at the valley, waiting for a cab to Sparrows Lane, and I'm currently late. Fabulous. So yeah, instead of being in the Valley offices, I ended up at Sparrows Lane and it turned out to be probably the most exciting day to start work experience on really because I ended up, uh, I had the opportunity to watch the team train. Um, I had I got to see the new kits. I was the very first Charlton fan to see the new kits. Here they are on the screen there, there, there. You've seen them already because they've been released now so I can show them to you now. Um, it was a really special way to start off work experience. I basically just got a behind the scenes of Sparrows Lane, watched the team train, saw the kits, and yeah, here's some clips of the team training. Yeah, never experienced anything like this. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh god, Nabby. Humiliation. Oh. That was quality. That was beautiful. Overdo it, Ant. Really overdo it, Ant. There you go, that backwards one. That's backwards. I don't mind that. Mate will come and help you. 
Oh, not me. Expose him! Expose him! Push him, lad. Push him that way. Push him. And then my phone died, so I didn't sign off from Sparrows Lane. So, yeah, transition to day two. <laughs> All right, so day two of work experience with Charlton it is nearly eight o'clock, I think. Um, yeah, uh, today I'm at the Valley today, um, as opposed to Sparrows Lane. So um, probably be in the media offices and stuff like that on laptops and things like that. Uh, the weather's not as pleasing as it uh as it would normally be and like yesterday where it was nice and sunny today it's quite miserable and probably is going to rain so yeah um uh see so yeah, i'm just getting ready to head out now and yeah looking forward to another day with charlton athletic all dressed and ready still half asleep but who cares it's for charlton Let's head out. Yeah, there wasn't much to film uh, day two, to be honest with you. I literally, literally didn't film anything. I don't know why I didn't, but I literally just filmed that little snippet of the computer going, me going, Oy. that was it. Like, that was literally it. And I just, like, <laughs> I did tell you, I'm not good at no this and this sort of stuff. I'm not good at normal vlogging. And there it is, day two of our experience is done and fairly, uh, fairly busy one today. Uh, to be completely honest with you, basically he sat in front of the computer all day writing articles, but there weren't really a problem with that. Like, of course, of course it's about Charlton, so it's probably going to be a lot more fun. Uh, basically, writ two articles a day, two articles a day about Bowie's interview uh, that he did in Spain with Ollie Groom, uh, and I did one of them about things like talking about the teams he's playing, like Leeds and Millwall, and also about like how about how like the new players have settled in and the togetherness and the young academy boys as well and from what i've been told apparently they may go up on charlton's website that would be honestly amazing <laughs> really cool if that actually got published there um as well as that i don't know if you there's like a massive massive wall chart in like in bartram's like the pub and it basically displays like the players that have played the academy de academy graduates have made their debuts basically i updated that by um putting on the players that made their debuts this season, like Alvi Morgan, Ashimena Brewer, Toby Stevenson, uh, Brennan Sarpon Wadu, players like that. Um, yeah, and so I updated that, as well as doing a bit of a story about those academy graduates and the games they played and the information about them, and that might end up in the handbook, in the club's handbook first, first game of the season in the first programme against Stoke. So, again, that would be amazing. Absolutely unreal if that got in there, but honestly, today's been a good day. Another good day, bit of a graft, bit tired, legs hurt from walking up massive Charlton Hill. Um, but yeah, just can't wait for tomorrow. Now I'll just get to go home, chill out, and play some FIFA. Sick. <laughs> Alright, so the time is probably just gone half past nine, uh, ended day two, and I'm just chilling out in my PJs, watching Lee Evans. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just uh, reflecting on my day that I had today. Uh, yeah, as I said, fairly busy day, but if I really enjoy myself, I'm really enjoying the experience right now. Uh, I just can't wait to get into uh, to get into day three. Um, probably, if I'm honest, probably a similar day to today, which, uh, to be, as I said, I don't mind. Uh, but yeah, um, we'll get going. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a good day. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow in the morning for day three. All right, day three. Let's go. One thing 
I will never get used to on this work experience. And it's walking down this massive hill every single day. Like, honestly, my legs are already, and I'm not even started the day. Deal with it! Another thing is that the clouds are suggesting that it could absolutely cane it down today. So if it starts raining, I'm a bit screwed being in a t-shirt. So luckily I've got a jumper in my bag, but even so, like, uh, yeah. It wouldn't be ideal, but yeah, walking down this massive hill every day again, also not ideal, but yeah, today probably should be similar as yesterday. Um, like probably writing stories and articles and things like that. Um, unfortunately, Ollie Groom is not in today, so uh, it'll just be me and um, another, another guy that I'm with. Uh, so if I can try and cross the road without being run over, uh, which again, not ideal. Well done. Yeah, one thing I should really point out is that apologize, apologies if I seem, uh, seem, I don't know what I'm doing here, I seem really poor at it, like to be honest, like being like a normal vlogger rather than a match day vlogger, because a match day vlogger, like doing match day like, vlogs for football, at least I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm on about, but with vlogs like this, I'm just like a bit of an amateur at it really, uh, not too good. I did do one uh, for the Formula One, which, uh, weren't too bad but wasn't spectacular by any means but yeah i just thought i'd do one for this week uh just because uh, i don't have much going on so i thought i'd give it a go but yeah i'll uh film start or uh, come back then i'll get into the offices and make my way to the valley so yeah i'll see you then there's anything about these offices there's just a catalogue of doors you gotta open <laughs> It's a bit long, but oh well. There's another one. It's fine. And there's another one I need to go through. set up for any uh, the week so this is like my laptop in front of me here uh, this was the article that I read uh, the other day um, that went up uh, they went up actually yesterday but went up today as you can see uh, water bottle pass and things like that um, match programs in the handbook which I've been um, using to help out and I can actually end up in the handbook for this season uh, for an article I wrote there, so that's really cool, but yeah, not really much to it to my setup really, but yeah, I'll try and film as much as I can, it is currently 20 past 12, so I'm going to be here for another couple of hours until my day ends, but going good so far, I've just written a couple of stories and that's it, nothing too special, but yeah, pretty good day so far. <laughs> Well, you would have left the building if you hadn't left your hat under your desk, you knob. And that's a wrap for day three. Uh, got out an hour later than I did yesterday. Uh, relatively, uh, relatively straightforward day. I had a bit less to do than I did yesterday, to be honest. Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember what I did. I, 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 my memory's awful. I think I remember doing... Um, I did uh, an article for Five Past Encounters for Blackburn Rovers. It is, it is our first game of the championship season. Like Five Past Encounters look back on Valley Pass at some of the games we played against them. Uh, I did a match preview of our game against Welling, uh, which should also go up on the club's website. And there was one about the fact that our games, the rest of our preseason games, apart from Colchester, will be streamed on Valley Pass. So 
yeah, uh, did those, as well as two of my articles that I wrote yesterday going up on uh, going up on Charles' website, which is amazing. That is genuinely unbelievable to have articles posted on Charles' website. That's absolutely amazing. And they credited with me with me um, credited me uh, for doing it as well. So yeah, it's a great touch on Charlton, and yeah. Headed back home now. Disadvantage to coming home from work experience is walking up this bloody hill every day of the week. Lucky I've got a nice banana Yazoo to go with it. And yes, I take the labels off. Don't judge me. Faggot. Right, so I forgot to sign off when it was day three. Um, apologies for that. When I got back home, I forgot to sign out. So yeah, it is now day four. Uh, it's about 25 past nine in the morning, waiting for the, uh, the bus to get to Charlton. Um, back in the valley again today. Uh, probably should be the same old, same old in the offices again. And there goes. Yeah, see you all when I get back in the office. Random shot of a London bus. I'm walking down the dreaded hill again, like I normally do. And yeah, it's quite sad to think that tomorrow is my last day at Charlton, which uh, is, uh, is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. I've enjoyed my experience so far, it's been really good, but yeah, it's a real shame, but I'm just looking forward to the next two days, really enjoyed myself so far. Uh, probably, once again, probably be the same as it was Tuesday and Wednesday, just writing more stories and stuff, probably. Uh, I don't actually know, so I'll probably just ask the people um, when I get in. And also, I don't know if you guys saw my Insta story. Um, if you didn't, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's on the screen here, at Tyler Rollinson. I just walked into some plants. Uh, um, but yeah, basically I sent them a story like I was going to try and post yesterday. Um, I was going to do like season player ratings and then never got around to doing it because I ended up going out and playing some pool with my dad. So um, I probably should have filmed that actually for the video, but I didn't bother. Um, but yeah, basically um, now I'm a video behind schedule and with pre-season coming up thick and fast and me going to quite a few of the pre-season games the matchday vlogs are going to take priority so basically what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to post the season player ratings video today followed by the Welling vlog followed by Ebb's Fleet then Gillingham which I think I'm going to I'm not too sure and then Villa um, and then of course the week later the season starts so yeah the matchday vlogs will take priority I'll try and post in between but today I'm going to try and post season player ratings I'll probably do something about it in this video as well alrighty then yeah, I didn't end up doing that, but I decided to show you more of my office work, the stuff I wrote. But shout out to Tom Rubichaud, who decided to give me 48 free hours on Valley Pass. You, you just gotta love it. Not gonna lie, I was having an absolute blast with this. Alright, that is it for day four, the penultimate day of my work experience, and I do apologise for the distinct lack of filming today, purely because, well, I'm going to be honest, not a lot really happened today, to be honest, I um, had a lot less to do than I did the last two days I've been at the Valley, to be honest with you, I only writ two stories today, um, the first one was, uh, I did a past encounters one yesterday for Blackburn, today I did one for Stoke, which was quite interesting, it took me a while, and the second one was... I don't know if you've seen like um, in the match programs, like right in the back somewhere, they do like player profiles, um, player profiles of the other team. Basically, I had to do that for Aston Villa, uh, which is of course our game for pre-season. So that was quite interesting. It took me ages, but oh well. And um, yeah, other than those two, didn't really have much to do. Watched a few clips on Valley Pass today, and other than that, just a past time when I didn't have stuff to do. But other than that, didn't really have much to do not the most exciting of days so to be honest there wasn't really much point in me filming much because I didn't actually do much so yeah on to tomorrow which is of course the final day of my work experience which is a bit as I say it's a bit sad like how it's gone so quickly but hopefully I'll get to do more things in the future who knows all right so today is Friday the 12th of July Day five, and it is my last day of work experience, which sucks, but it is what is the end of the day. I forgot to sign out from day four again. Told you I'm not good at this vlogging stuff, but oh well. Just uh, leaving the house now.
and thankfully for the last time this week I have to walk down this bloody hill and I've gone on about it all week but it just kills me legs before the day's even started but yeah if I'm being honest I don't really know what I'm going to be doing today because there was a distinct lack of things to do yesterday if I'm honest. Uh, yesterday as I mentioned did like a story for five past encounters with Stoke City and did player profiles for Aston Villa for our pre-season game against them and that was it. Um, I was basically watching Valley Pass games for the rest of the day to try and kill time but I really didn't have a lot to do. Obviously there was a, an update yesterday, Jason Pearce signing the contract extension until 2021 which is really good news. Luckily, I had this beautiful thing to help me out. Cheers again, Tom. <laughs> so that needs fixing. Oh. Because <laughs> we need 8 mil, Steven Edge. Unfortunately, and now Mickey Mouse can't. We need to add playoffs from, from last year, so it's perfectly symmetrical with like trophies and that. Yeah. And now we need, to, we need to add the champions. Like, yeah. Stick it in the middle or something, but yeah, it's a pain in the arse. At the moment, we're doing the, um, the new sponsorship boards up, so it looks a bit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap work experience with Charlton Athletic is done. What an absolutely unbelievable experience this has been. It's genuinely been unbelievable. And I hope that maybe one day I could come back and do more in the future. Who knows? This week has absolutely flown by. It's been an unbelievable experience. One I'll, one I'll never forget, to be honest. It's been absolutely brilliant to work behind the scenes with Charlton and see things that no normal Charlton fan would often see um, of, of course good times got to see the team train got first Charlton fan to see the new kits um, had some articles and stories published on Charlton's official website which is absolutely amazing but it just sucks that for my school for the year 12 it's only for a one week work experience which really sucks but Oh well, it is what it is, but I've taken this experience by the horns, loved every single minute of it, and hopefully, who knows, I could uh, maybe I could come back and do more in the future, but it's been an absolute pleasure, um, and this is where I'm going to sign off, <laughs> this is where I'm going to sign off the whole weekly video, because uh, I'm probably going to forget to sign off when I come home anyway, but yeah, um, as I said, it's been an absolute privilege, thank you to everyone at Charlton Athletic. Um, the communications department for letting me come into work experience uh, Ollie Groom, Tom Rubichaud, Brandon Smith shout out to you guys if you are watching this video hopefully, maybe you are <laughs> but it's been an absolute pleasure I've loved every single minute of it and hopefully we can come back tomorrow in the future this has been Tyler Rowlinson have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next video that is my weekly weekly series of series of videos if you may ask of my work experience with Charlton Athletic. It's been a privilege.